Watch this video if you want to know how to create, market, and sell your ebook or digital products. This is a free course from top to bottom on how you can do it. For reference, I did start a YouTube channel with only 22 videos. I had made $20,000, which included my ebook. And I've been able to do this with zero subscribers. The first things first is going to be the create. And keep in mind, I did not have ChatGPT when I created mine. You can do this in 24 hours, depending on how much of a perfectionist you are. First, we're going to be using Canva. We're going to find the template. And then we're going to use ChatGPT to get the content of the ebook. I type the ebook template pages in the search section of Canva. And then this is what it gave me. I do have the pro version. So if you click on it, you see these ones are pro. Usually like the more premium luxury and pro is like $13 a month. I'll have a link down below if you guys would like for Canva Pro. I think it's really worth it because I use Canva a lot. But I'm going to look for a free version for you guys. Okay, perfect. We're going to use this one. As you can see, the pro version, they have more stylish ones. This one's not bad. I actually like this one better. Keep calm and keep cooking. This particular one is free. It says Italian restaurant ebook. And I already the way it's laid out. So you can, with Canva, you can change all the colors. You can change the text. You can change the layout. Like everything is customizable on Canva. So I really enjoy Canva. And it really gives you a body to work with, right? All you have to do is customize this template. And sometimes also what I'll do, let me close this out. I'll go through and if there's different elements of something that I like, I'll star them. And they'll all go into like my favorite folder. So it's, if it's like, oh, I like the layout of the About Us on this page, right? But then I like the cover of this one. I'll combine those things to make like the ebook that I really like or that reflects me. For example, if we're doing a cooking ebook, then we're just going to do, let's say, what does it say? Nona's Secret Recipes to Keep Calm and Keep Cooking. Cool. So now we need to get the body of the ebook. Mind you, this is only four pages. You know how many pages you need to get your information across. But what you can do, you can edit these things. All of these things are separate components. When you see these boxes, those are like separate components that you can edit, right? Or if you would just say you want to do the keep calm or just keep cooking, you can just do this and like the backspace button, right? Delete it. This and backspace button. You can move this up. You can make it bigger, whatever the case might be. And just, you know, if you're like, this is like the vibe that I'm going for. And then you can edit this, whatever. So I'm just going to do the back button and another thing that I like to do on Canva is if I want to play around with an idea I'll do duplicate page it will duplicate the exact same page and then let's say if I have my idea I'll I'll do it on this page so I don't mess up the original I hope that makes sense basically now that we've let's say we decided on this cover page we decided on the title everything like that you have the contents if you have to edit it now we're gonna go to chat GPT and then we're going to go ahead and get the contents of it. We're going to ask chat DPC, write me an ebook on 10 Liberian dishes to make. Because I'm Liberian. And Liberian food is really good. And this is show you how smart they are. First of all, they know something. Because they said palava sauce. I think you better use chat DPC because they know what they're talking about. So basically, they did the table of contents. Perfect. All you have to do is go in there. And then copy and paste this. We're going to go to Canva. And being that the layout is, you pretty much will have to go bring it over. So we have introduc introduction, jollof rice. So let's say we'll just, we'll leave our story and then we'll just change this to jollof rice. And it's all caps. So I'm going to keep it like that. Jollof rice. And what else did they have? Palava sauce. So you get the point. So let's say you will replace the pictures. Like, I don't like this green. So let's say I would go in and I would say, what color really speaks to me? I like like minimalist style, like simple, not too loud. Let me just show you guys a perfect example. I don't particularly like this particular page, but I'm going to find another page. So under here, under design, I'm going to look up other ebook covers. And bear with me, I'm just going to use the pro version for this because it's going to have some other stuff that I like. And I'm going to add some pages. And so if you want to bring, you know how earlier I said, if you want to combine ideas, you know, of one ebook and another ebook, this is how you do it. So when you click on design, it has like other ebook templates for me. You go ahead and click on, you add a page and then you click on the new ebook. 
if you want to add a particular page, for example, let's say I didn't like how this layout was, right? Remember? I'm just going to click on the page. You see it's highlighted purple. And then I'm going to click on the page that I want to replace it with. I like this one. I'm going to use something like this. I'm probably going to change the image of this one and do something like more calm, right? And I feel like that goes with that. That's perfect, actually. I'm going to make this black. I'm going to do this. Highlight it. And then I'm going to make all the font black. Perfect. Just so I can stand out on the page a little bit more. And then, so it's coming together. It, it looks way better. If I wanted to change this font and this font to the same, so it's like more cohesive, I just click on the font name. It's called Playfair Display. And then I'm going to highlight all this. And I'm going to change it to Playfair Display. This looks good to me. So see, it's all coming together already. So now we have our main page. Let's even change the thing to, we're going to do all caps. Liberian, Liberian Mommy, Mommy's Kitchen. My sister's name is Mommy. Okay, so Liberian Mommy's Kitchen. And then we're going to say, we'll keep that, we'll keep that title as that, right? Keep calm and cooking. We have our contents. We have our jello fries, pilava sauce. I'm not changing all this because you get the idea. So this is how you're going to start entering the paragraphs into from chat gpt into the ebook so let's go back to chat gpt we already have this part and then we have introduction this is going to be an introduction we're just going to change this to introduction we're going to copy and paste this i'm going to look at let's see what font is this public sans usually they give you the same font okay so you know what they did this if you want to keep this then Pretty much what you would do, let me show you. You would highlight this and you would put in the new font, right? So all I did was highlight, let me show you again. Go back. So all I did was highlight the whole thing and then I pasted in what I got from ChatGPT. And then I would just replace this and say Liberian history. And then I could remove this one if I wanted to. You just highlight backspace. If I don't need this, I could highlight backspace. If I wanted to make it wider, I would do this. That looks way better. Then you're like the pictures. These are not really going with the vibes. You would click on elements and then you could type in, I could type in Liberia. And so you could do graphics, so cartoon looking images, or you could do like actual real photos. I love this picture. I've always seen, this is on pro, this particular picture, because you see it says pro. But because I love this picture, I'm gonna see if I can use it. And then that looks so good to me. I'm gonna change the background this background, I'm, I want it to be this one so everything goes together. So I'm clicking on here. I'm going to get the name. It's EFE1CE. -E. And usually if you're using something all in the same template, it's going to do it for you. So then I just click on this and then I click on the EFE1CE. -E. Perfect. That looks so good. And yeah, and now I hope that makes sense. So you can, let's say, for example, I still don't like this particular page. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to highlight it, go back to design and see if there's another page that I just prefer. Okay, for example, I like the way this looks. So now I could say I'm just going to replace this information. I'm going to change the back color. I'm going to change the picture and I'm going to start putting in the contents. So that's how you create your ebook. I hope this is making sense. So bonus is that in order to create more income, the digital product or your ebook is going to be one. But inside of your ebook, you are going to put affiliate links. So let's say if we're doing the food ebook and you want somebody to maybe buy stuff, let's say you have food, like utensils or certain things that you use that are really helpful. There's a particular tool that you use to cook. Then I would say that's where you want to use affiliate marketing because somebody who's already bought your book, number one, they're going to buy from you again. Knowing me, I like making my job easier. So if there's a tool, a utensil that I needed to make it easier and it costs $10, $15, why not go buy it? So that's where the extra income is going to come. So bonuses, affiliate marketing. I have a whole free course on affiliate marketing. Make sure you go check that out as well. And then make sure, though, that you do put your disclaimer. I'll put that up on the screen and I'll, it's going to be in my description box because I do affiliate marketing as well. So you always want to make sure you always put a disclaimer because you're required to when it comes to affiliate marketing. Now we get to the marketing portion. Marketing is if you don't market, you have done all that work for nothing. And like marketing is 
it's not one of my favorites, but it's pretty simple. It's simpler than what we make it, people make it seem um, because marketing can seem a little intimidating sometimes. So when it comes to marketing, it's a numbers game. Marketing is about putting your ebook, your digital product, whatever in front of people and the way the number increases, your sales will increase. So what I knew was that when I wrote my ebook that I need to basically create let's say pieces, I don't want to say advertisement because that's so old school, but pieces of content, right? That basically, it didn't necessarily showcase my product, but I was giving value in the same way that I'm, do I'm doing this video. I was giving value and then I had an answer to maybe their questions or whatever the case may be. So just understand that marketing is a numbers game. The more you can put it in front of more people, the more sales you're going to get, the more money you're going to make. In order to do this, you have to pick a platform. So you want to pick either YouTube. My personal recommendations is going to be YouTube. I like TikTok. I enjoy TikTok. I'm not really a fan of Instagram personally. Or you can try Facebook. I've heard great things about Facebook. I haven't tried personally, but definitely check out Facebook. Or you can put them on all three. Me personally, I feel like um, I'm not claiming that I have ADHD, but I can be all over the place. Is it a is Facebook a place I will focus on? No, but I just upload it there and let it do what it does. Yes. Another bonus tip is that when you want to grow one platform, use another platform to grow that platform. So I've been able to grow my YouTube because I use TikTok to grow my YouTube, which is hence why I like TikTok. I like TikTok in general, but I like TikTok because you get exposure to more people easily. And then I feel like people on TikTok, you take action. They're like, oh yeah, I have this free thing. They're going to click. They're going, they're coming. So what I personally did was I let people know on TikTok that I was going to be giving away some information on my YouTube before I had any video posted. People were coming over from TikTok to subscribe to my channel with zero videos. That told me a lot, right? I posted my first video and I thought, what was the product that I could create? So I was like catching up. The good thing is that you know what you wanna talk about. And I thought about what product would they want? They wanna know about finances and their business how can they fund their business right and i love talking about business it just makes sense the good thing too is that youtube has youtube shorts so with youtube shorts you can use youtube shorts and tiktok to grow your youtube page you'll be putting it in like your bio and everywhere like that but the content is what's going to drive the people so now that we have cooking is our thing liberian food go to tiktok look up liberian recipes look up recipes that have gotten the most views and has the interaction so let's say there's one video that maybe has 200 views but there's another video that has 63,000 views that's an indication to tell you that what something they did in this video was working right save that video you're going to come back to it look up a few of those videos and save it now you're going to go to those videos and say Okay, it could either be the food, the particular Liberian dish they were talking about, or it could be the format of the video. Like maybe it was like luxury or whatever. Or maybe it was like the wording that they said or the things they put on the screen or the process that they did it. Maybe it was an overhead shot the whole time. Take that information. Let's say, for example, it was an overhead shot of the food and somebody just cooking the whole thing and it was sped up. Easy. You already have an e a ebook right that you've already made and you can tweak at any time if you don't have that recipe make sure you go ahead and add that recipe to your book go ahead and record i would say make a list of your videos and then record those videos the reason why i say record those videos is because all those videos have numbers to back them up the people that have watched those videos and liked those videos and comment on those videos has told you that this video is a success to us we don't know this person from anywhere or we just came across them on tiktok but we like this video. So that tells you that if you do a video, be true to yourself. If you watch my other videos, I always tell you, be genuine, be honest, be true to yourself. But you need to be making a version of that video. Think about it. You're not doing something you weren't doing already. So that's a part of the marketing, the content, right? Because now when you do those videos, you need to make sure you're plugged in. If you're trying to build up your YouTube, you're going to tell these people, go to the YouTube video for the full video. You're going to let, let them know, I have... A whole bunch of recipes for you blah 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 in the comments in the description box 
in your TikTok bio everywhere. You're gonna be marketing this thing every single place. So that's how you're gonna grow your platform. That's how you're gonna market. That's why I say numbers, it's a numbers game because you're looking at the numbers and you're gonna basically follow the numbers, follow what the numbers are telling you. I hope that makes sense. This Because this is a free course and this is pretty long, ask me your questions down below. I, I like to uh, comment on all my videos so if you have a question that's a little complicated, go ahead and comment down below for me to go ahead and answer your question the best that I can because I know this is a lot, but it's actually not hard. It's just like a process, step-by-step -step process. So I hope you're taking notes and I hope you're just, you're making your bullet points clear. So now that we did marketing, you created your ebook, you put your affiliate links in your ebook, you have your marketing now. I recommend also batch recording. It's, it, I feel like it's changed my life. Honestly speaking, because it gives me more control of my days and it allows me to just knock it out, right? So I can focus more on like other things or just having my, like having the schedule that I want. So I recommend batch recording. Once you have the list of your videos, go ahead and just knock them all out. Because it's nothing like every week you having to say, oh, I have to go record. It could be a little daunting because we are all living life and we have jobs and we're trying to figure it out, right? The last part is going to be selling. So there are a few platforms that they allow you to sell your ebook. I will go ahead and put some down below. Stand Store is huge. I would say if you're looking for a cheaper side, I recommend Stand Store. Your first 14 days are free with my link down below. And then Stand Store, you can collect email addresses. With Stand Store, you can do everything I'm talking about for $29. So you can collect the email addresses and you can send out like the email sequences and then uh, once they buy your product or even if they just sign up for your email list, if you give a free product, it's all in one. So that's why I recommend Stansor. Putting it on there is super simple. All you have to do is on the back office, you upload. So you basically create like a new item or new product. You upload your digital product, you name it, and then you can set up how they receive the email. So what does the email say? Hi Sheila, thank you for purchasing my Liberian Mommy's ebook. I hope you enjoy and make delicious food, whatever the case may be. And then now you have their email address, they bought your ebook, and it's great. So Stan Store is like chef's kiss. I promise you, anybody could do it when you put it, when you're ready to put it on there to sell. Last thing is gonna be taking action. I have something free for you guys. So if you made it this far, <laughs> clap for yourself. Because I have a free 90-day project planner. For you guys and this is what I mean by giving value and I say this on all my videos 90 day project planner if you plan on making your ebook this is perfect for you you're gonna be using my stand store link and you're gonna see you're able to go ahead and get the free 90 day project planner for you it's not a digital product it's on notion but it's basically you're able to list out all the tasks that you need to do to reach your 90 day goal and then you're gonna assign it dates that's perfect. I love that for you. Because that means that in 90 days, you would have created, marketed, and sold your ebook so many times that I need you to come back and comment on this video how, how it went. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to get your 90-day project planner for free by your girl. I would say create your ebook and then come and do the affiliate marketing course. That way you can just plug in everything, right? Of everything you're recommending, but make it like simple because you probably don't want to overwhelm you. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I know this video was pretty long. This might be my longest YouTube video to date. So let me clap for myself. Thank you. <laughs> and then and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye. <laughs>